baby. Who's next to get hologramified? And what single is everybody talking about? Find out now on The Drop. What's up, I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. So Sierra just popped out her baby boy and she posted this picture online of his hand and she used the caption, Future Tahir will burn nine pounds, 10 ounces, May 19th, 2014. Nine pounds, that's a big ass baby. That is a very big baby. You know, a lot of people are talking about the name, but I kind of like it, like Future Zahir. It kind of sounds Future's royal. Zahir? Yeah, it sounds royal to me. It's, come on, y'all reaching. All right, Jocelyn Hernandez from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta sent out a whole bunch of tweets about her husband, Stevie J, allegedly beating her and bruising her. She even posted pictures to prove it. But then the next day, she went on Instagram to post this video. Nothing happened to me. I'm all good. My page was hacked last night. There's nothing wrong with me. Shout out to all the haters. It literally looks like Stevie J is behind the camera like, bitch, say you okay. But Jocelyn could probably be Stevie J's ass. Jocelyn could definitely be Stevie J's ass. They're always arguing in each other's faces. I'm like, they put hands on each other, but I see them fighting like two dudes. Nicki Minaj has been talking about dropping her new single for a couple of weeks now, and it finally came out. It's called Pills and Potions. Here's a clip. Right. <laughs> Pills and potions, we're overdosing. I'm angry, but I still love Everybody's been going crazy on Twitter about this, but I gotta tell you, I'm kinda eh about the yeah, song. I'm not going crazy about it either. I hope she doesn't start doing pills like that. I think she's doing them, because on Yes Bitch, she mentioned pills. She's like, I be popping pills, and I was like, mm, okay. And then on this, she's like, I still pop pills. I think somebody needs to just like, wake up. I'm, I'm like, what type of pills, though? The ones that make her make slow-ass, sad songs, like pills and potions, <laughs> because that <laughs> sounded depressing. Schoolboy Q dropped a video for his song Hoover Street from his Oxymoron album. Cause he been tripping now, he sweats a lot, he's slimming down. I also notice moms be locking doors when he around. Rant or rave? I'm gonna choose rave because this video was gritty and just visually amazing. Schoolboy told us his entire life story through this video. Now, I listened to the song like a million times before, but it was something about seeing it come to life that really just hit me like, dang, this is a really dope song. In the video, we follow him through his rough childhood to his even rougher teenage years. And you know, it's just so raw and creative. I really like it and that's saying a lot because I hate 99% of videos that I watch. But this one was on point the entire way through. And it just made me think, if TDE keeps it up like this, they're gonna have an even bigger year than they did last year. You know, Kendrick put all his homies on, and I'm not mad at it. What's good, people? I'm Jay Snow out here on Venice Beach right now, and it's 2014. Anything is possible. You know why? Because Michael Jackson just performed at the Billboard Music Awards, Tupac performed at Coachella, and I'm here to find out what deceased musician people want to see perform as a hologram next. So let's find out. Which deceased artist would you like to see perform as a hologram today? Aaliyah. Aaliyah? Why Aaliyah? She was amazing. She was, I'm... she was crazy. Amy Winehouse. I'd really like to see Kurt Cobain. I'd like to see... Ray Charles. If they did Ray Charles on a hologram, like that, have him stand up, walk around, start dancing. I think I'm gonna go with Aaliyah. A lot of people like her. Uh, Jim Morrison. The Rat Pack. The entire Rat Pack. What would that look like? I'm alive and doing their doing their show kinda, and then the holograms working with them, and they'd be like talking to the holograms. I want to see Ray Charles take off his glasses. I want to see him wear denim. I have to say, Jimi Hendrix, bro. Jimi Hendrix. Why Jimi Hendrix? Why not, dog? It's Jimmy. Exactly. It's Jimmy. I mean, would you, would you pay to see Jimmy on tour as a hologram? Yeah, you know what? I probably would. What's the highest ticket you pay? Like, say the ticket was like 250 or something ridiculous or even 500 would you still pay? Nah, dog. You know, I'm black. I got to get the hookup. I got to be able to, like, stand right next to the hologram and run through him and get some of that hologram juice. You feel me? Some of that mojo of the, of the, of the late greats. You know what I'm saying? So today's Woman Crush Wednesday goes to none other than Oprah Winfrey. Why? Because after 60 years, a net worth of $2.9 billion, and one of the longest running TV shows in the world, she's finally comfortable with her body. She's showing off her curves in the magazines now. She's talking about how she had her knees for 60 years and her legs for, of course she had that for 60 years. She didn't go under the night and she feels good about her body. Congratulations, Oprah. Who is your Woman Crush Wednesday? Tweet me at jsnowpro, hashtag Woman Crush Wednesday, and let me know. It could be anybody, it could be anybody. What do you guys think about Sierra's baby name? Do you like it? No. I wasn't asking you. I don't give a f about you. Well, I'm opinion. answering it, David. I'm asking the people. So what do you think about Nicki Minaj's new single, Pills and Potions? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to All Death Digital. I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. See you tomorrow on The Drop.